Vectra Fitness, specializing in the intelligent design, engineering, and manufacturing of premium quality, multi-station weight machines. As a U.S. manufacturer with a factory located in the Seattle, Washington area, Vectra has been serving the fitness community worldwide for over 20 years. Vectra machines are made one at a time with craftsmanship and are fully assembled before they leave the factory. The United States Patent Office has acknowledged the innovative nature of Vectra's unique designs by awarding over 25 patents. These patents govern the way the products look and function, ensuring your Vectra Gym will provide a wide range of fundamental and biomechanically correct exercises to work both the upper and lower body. Vectra machines are attractive, easy to use, and safe to have in your home. Being easy to use correctly, they tend to minimize the risk of bad technique injury and fit efficiently into most settings. These machines feature a patented, easy-to-use fingertip release lever. It works in both directions, allowing adjustments to be made easily, regardless of the exercise being performed. In addition, when switching from one exercise to another, there are self-adjustments, ratcheted adjustments, or no adjustments at all. There are no pop-ins or tightening down knobs on any Vectra machines, which saves you time during your workout. Another advantage can be found in all Vectra benches, which offer seven different exercise positions, including decline press, flat chest press, four incline presses, and a shoulder press position. The combination of these various positions and the ability to perform additional dumbbell exercises make Vectra benches extremely versatile. Vectra customers appreciate the multiple adjustments on the press arms. Depending on the Vectra machine, there are anywhere from 18 to 23 different incremental positions, providing a comfortable and proper starting point for each exercise. Vectra uses the highest quality components, including stainless steel guide rods that are polished, clear nylon coated and internally lubricated cables, fiberglass reinforced nylon pulleys, and sealed ball bearings throughout the machines. This allows for smooth and quiet operation during each exercise. Add the round and oval columns and you have a machine that looks timeless. Vectra's weight plates are machined to precision measurements and with the one-to-one -one lifting ratio, you can be assured that you are lifting accurate amounts of weight consistently throughout each exercise. The design details of a Vectra machine are such that you are more apt to enjoy exercising on this equipment, which means you are more likely to reach your fitness goals. And that's why Vectra is here, to help you reach your goals. This video focuses on the online 1450 machine. It is one of Vectra's most space-efficient models and the latest version of the revolutionary corner unit concept. This gym fits perfectly in the corner of a room and low ceilings are no problem for the 1450 because of an adjustable height. As always, before undertaking any exercise program, you should consult with a physician. While exercising, keep constant tension on the muscle and do not allow muscles to fully relax between repetitions. Maintain a slow and controlled movement throughout the range of motion for each exercise. Be sure to exhale through the most strenuous part of the exercise and inhale during the less stressful phase of the repetition. As we discuss the following exercises, it is helpful to review various muscle groups being used. The pectoral muscles are located in your chest area here. The biceps are in the upper front of your arm and the triceps are on the back of your arm. Deltoids are located in the upper side of your shoulder. Trapezius muscles start at the base of your neck and attach to your shoulder and mid-back. The lat muscles attach from deep in your upper arm and go all the way down to your lower back. Abdominal muscles are located around the midsection of your body. And gluteals are in the buttocks area. Quadriceps are the muscles in the front of your upper leg and hamstrings are on the back of your upper leg. Lastly, calf muscles are on the back of your lower leg. Let's start with the bench press. Adjust bench to flat or 15 degree incline position. Lie on bench with feet flat on the floor or place feet on bench if necessary to prevent arching the back. Grasp bar and adjust press arm to comfortable starting position. Push handles away from chest to full extension without locking out the elbows. 
This exercise primarily works the pectoral muscles, but also works the deltoids and triceps. Incline press. Adjust bench to 30 degree, 45 degree, or 60 degree position. Lie on bench with press arm just above the chest. Position feet flat on the floor. Grasp bar and push up to full elbow extension without locking out the elbows. This exercise works the upper pectoral muscles, deltoids, and triceps. Decline press. Place bench into 15 degree decline position with seat bottom in highest position. Lie on bench. Adjust press arm so that grips are in line with lower chest. Push bar to full extension without locking out the elbows. This exercise works the lower pectorals, deltoids, and triceps. Cross chest fly. Sit upright with feet on floor. Grasp handles with elbows and hands at chest level just below shoulder height. Keeping arms stiff but slightly bent, bring hands together in an arc motion. For greater contraction, cross hands over one another, alternating top hand. The cross chest fly works the pectoral muscles. Dips. Adjust press arm parallel to floor. Grasp press arm and support body weight on extended arm. Lower your body until upper arms are parallel to floor. Dips work your lower pectorals, deltoids, and triceps. Seated low row. Sit on bench in decline position, feet braced on block. Grasp short bar, sit upright, and extend legs until slightly bent. Pull bar to lower abdomen, bringing elbows back and squeezing shoulder blades together. Hold momentarily. Maintain straight and stationary body position throughout exercise. This exercise works the lats and rear deltoids. Wide grip mid row. Sit sideways along bench with feet anchored under foot hold downs. Grasp handles as shown. Pull elbows back. Hold momentarily. Maintain an upright seated posture throughout exercise. Do not allow cross chest fly arms to swing all the way back. This exercise improves the musculature of the upper back and works the rear deltoids. Lat pull down. Adjust hold down pads and grasp lat bar. Grip should be wider than shoulder width. Lean back slightly. Pull bar down towards chest, just below chin. Lat pulls work the lat and biceps muscles and improve musculature of the shoulder. Back extension. Sit on bench in decline position with feet braced on block and body leaning forward. With slight bend in the knees, grasp the short bar attached to the low pulley. Straighten upper body and keep arms straight. Lean back from the hip without letting your back become rounded. Hold position for a moment. Back extensions improve the musculature of the lower back and spine. Biceps curl. Attach extension cable to low pulley. Grasp short bar with palms up. Stand erect, feet shoulder width apart, and knees slightly bent. Start with arms fully extended. While maintaining upper arms and elbows in stationary position, curl the bar in an arc motion towards your shoulder, bending at the elbows. This exercise works your biceps. 
For variation, use the single handle strap to isolate each bicep. High pulley curl. Use short bar attached to high pulley cable. Grasp the short bar, palms up, arms extended towards high pulley. Sit sideways on flat bench and anchor feet under foot hold downs. Lean back about 10 degrees and curl the bar towards forehead. Maintain upper arms in position and bend arms at elbow. Hold momentarily. This works the biceps and musculature of the forearm. Triceps press down. Stand upright. Position feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Grasp short bar at chest level, palms down, and keep elbows at side of your body. Push down on bar to full extension. This works your triceps muscles. Triceps extension. Lie on bench in flat position. Reach over your head and grab the short bar, palms facing up. Keep elbows pointed up at shoulder width. Push bar up toward ceiling. Lower bar to just above the top of your head. Maintain arm position and push bar back up toward ceiling. Make sure to keep your upper arms stationary and elbows in a fixed position throughout exercise. This works your triceps. Shoulder shrugs. Stand upright with feet shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent. Grasp press arm handles or press arm tubes. Elevate shoulders as high as possible while keeping arms extended and body rigid. Shoulder shrugs work your trapezius muscles. Shoulder press. Adjust bench to upright position with handles just in front of your face at about eye level. Grasp bar, push bar directly overhead to full extension without locking out the elbows. Do not arch back. The shoulder press works your deltoids, trapezius, and triceps. Side lateral. Use extension cable. Standing upright, grasp single handle with arm bent slightly at elbow. Pull handle up in an arc until arm is almost parallel with floor. This exercise works the middle and front deltoid and trapezius. For variation, bend forward at the hip to perform a bent over lateral. Leg extension. Adjust seat bottom to align knee with pivot point. Raise seat back slightly to prevent sliding back during exercise. Sit upright and position feet behind contoured pads. Extend the legs at the knees to full extension without locking out your knees. Maintain body position and contact with bench. This exercise works the quadriceps. Leg curl. Starting with bench in decline position, adjust seat bottom to ensure knee alignment with pivot point. Use release lever to adjust leg developer to leg curl position. Be sure mechanism is locked in place. Lie on bench face down, aligning knee with pivot point. Flex the knees, pulling the pads as close to your buttocks as possible. Keep thighs and pelvis in contact with pad and do not arch back. The leg curl exercise works the hamstrings. Calf raise. Place squat attachments into secured position on press arm. Adjust starting height to stand erect with pads resting on shoulder. Place feet 12 inches apart with balls of feet on edge of calf block, heels almost touching floor. Rise up on balls of feet as far as possible. 
keep shoulders, hips, and knees in straight line. This exercise works the calf muscles. Squat. Secure squat attachments on press arm. Straddle bench and sit in an upright position. Position shoulders and hips directly under pads with feet slightly forward. Adjust starting height of press arm just above shoulders. Feet should be shoulder width apart. Slowly raise bar up to full standing position. Lower hips down and back until thighs are parallel to floor. Keep back straight, head up, and weight over the middle of the foot and heels. Make sure feet are positioned so that knees do not extend beyond toes. The squat exercise works the quadriceps, hamstrings, and gluteals. Inner thigh pull. Secure ankle strap to left leg. Stand erect with left leg out to side. Grasp press arm for support. Pull left leg across right leg. Keep leg straight and do not swing leg. Switch leg and repeat. This exercise works the inner thigh muscles, also called the adductors. Outer thigh pull. With ankle strap secured to right leg, stand erect with right foot in front of left foot. Grasp press arm for support. Raise leg to 45 degrees. Keep leg straight and do not swing leg. Switch leg and repeat. This exercise works the outer thigh called the hip or abductors and the obliques. Kickback. Secure ankle strap to either leg. Stand erect with feet together. Grab press arm for support. Raise leg backward to 30 degrees until you achieve a full glute contraction. Keep back and leg as straight as possible. Do not swing leg or arch back. Switch leg and repeat. This exercise works the gluteals. Cross bench sit up. Sit sideways along bench and anchor feet under the foot hold downs. Cross your arms across your chest. Lean back until you feel the abdominal muscles fully tighten, keeping the back straight. Do not lean back further than position demonstrated. Hold momentarily. Contract abdominal muscles and exhale until you return to an upright seated position. Avoid rounding or arching your back. This exercise works the abdominals and spine stabilization muscles. Seated Ab Crunch Attach optional dual grip handle to the high pulley cable. Sit sideways along bench. Anchor feet under the foot hold downs and grasp handles. Crunch down with hips stationary and bring elbows down. Inhale before you begin and exhale fully as you crunch down. This exercise works the abdominals. This video demonstrates 25 basic exercises for your upper and lower body. There are many more exercises that you can perform on the Vectra Online 1450 machine, partly because you are provided with an adjustable bench. This bench will allow you to perform hundreds of dumbbell exercises, whether you have individual dumbbells or an adjustable dumbbell set. It's all part of what Vectra Fitness offers, training for life. For more information, visit Vectra online at vectrafitness.com.